as you all know YouTube decided to terminate its online video editing software or program and um, unfortunately for me I broke my trusted camera at the same time so I was forced uh, into a break you could say where I needed to search for um, a new camera and at the same time for new video editing software um, I'll talk more about that in a minute um, the only thing I wanted to show you right now because I'm going to use it uh, in a minute is the new tripod I bought myself for my camera because actually my camera is not a uh, simple video camera but is actually a smartphone which I'm using as a video camera and I bought a special tripod adapted for use with a uh, smartphone and it didn't cost much uh, I think somewhere around uh, nine dollars and okay it's it's not extremely rugged or anything but it's it's quite simple in use as you can tell it has collapsible legs or telescopic legs and um, it's about a meter high yeah or a yard if you like and uh, the, the nice thing about it is it has a adapter on top here um, which can be used to clamp in any sort of smartphone um, as you can tell I can I can pull up this clamp I can pull it up and put any type of smartphone in between I, I think you could even put a um, uh, a small tablet or even a phablet like they say in between these clamps but in any case this is the tripod I'm going to use uh, to make my videos from now on uh, except if I am filming on my desk in which case I will still use the mini tripod I have there and by the way you can transfer this clamp which has a universal attachment to the the mini tripod if need be so this is really a perfect combination for me okay enough of this for now what I wanted to show you is so um, this is the first uh, part of my uh, treasure hunting abroad and this is a black and white TV from uh, if I'm not mistaken 1962 it's a Hungarian TV and the brand is Kekesh so let me show you from close up there you go so the TV's name brand name is Kekesh and um, it has a small screen as you can tell um, I would say it's about a 13 inch screen black and white obviously and um, it has a very nice retro shape uh, as you can tell it's it has rounded corners which is typical of that period and um, actually I, I bought it because the design uh, of its shape uh, uh, is more let's say space age design than than typical 50s uh, design which is more squarish in a sense um, it has a little bit of damage uh, let me show you so um, if you notice here on the bezel the bezel is cracked here 
okay so that will need uh, repair for certain um, and well there is I would say mold growing on the CRT itself uh, also the cabinet is is wood and it has the usual scratches and, and blemishes you would find on a wooden cabinet and uh, the bezel has a kind of uh, I don't know how you call this a, a sort of a strip which covers up the edges of the bezel and and the strip is damaged as well you can see it right down here yeah so it probably got stretched or it snagged on something or well whatever um, I can't say what the cause of the damage is right now um, the bezel itself I don't know if it's bakelite or painted metal or, or even so a kind of plastic but in my opinion this is either painted metal or bakelite mm. All the knobs are there, yeah. so you can see the knobs here, okay. and, and um, let me translate the legend of the knobs, so right here, what you see there, uh, the top left knob is hung re, which means um, volume actually and uh, on the knob on the right is hung scene and if you translate that oops if you translate that literally it means uh, sound color but that's really tonality okay so okay <laughs> Be patient with me because I'm still getting used to this uh, new tripod and camera. Um, so then the middle knob under it you see Feigne RE, which literally trans, uh, translated means uh, uh, light uh, strength or brightness. And, and the one next to it I think you will all understand. Uh, it's written contrast but well we don't pronounce it differently in English so that's contrast and then you have uh, the UHF channel selector underneath or excuse me VHF uh, channel selector from 1 to 12 I should say uh, this TV is PAL okay it's not the American NTSC but it's the European PAL uh, uh, transmission protocol it uses okay so that's this side of the uh, TV now let me show you the other side of the TV okay and here uh, we see the typical uh, loudspeaker grill and when this is definitely plastic okay so there's nothing really exceptional or special about that uh, right then let me show you the back of the TV okay and that has an interesting color actually um, it's it's masonite I think it's painted masonite uh, or plastic either one I don't know um, but it looks in, in nice shape um, the only thing that's missing really is the connector this is all that remains of the connector which is really a poor excuse of a connector but okay well this however makes me fear the worst for the TV I think maybe at some time in the past somebody tried to well to switch the TV on 
Uh, and uh, well, I just hope they they didn't burn some part or anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the the back cover, so this, and we'll have a look inside the TV. Okay, so this is the inside of the or the chassis of the TV. Um, and as you can tell, I, I took off the cover, yeah, and it is in, it is indeed uh, a kind of red plastic. Yeah, and the inscription reads. Let me see. The inscription reads. Uh, is there a type here? Mm, yeah, the type here is TB43 okay so I don't know if you can see that but it's it's not very clear but right here it says TB 43 okay and it gives all kinds of warnings in Hungarian it also says it's a 160 watt TV and then it uh, sums up all the uh, tubes which are used in the TV okay and and the main tube, so the picture tube um, type is AW4380. Yeah. Um, a very interesting detail is here is the price. The price is actually printed on the TV itself, and it says Fodjastashi uh, R. Uh, 5,200 forints so in other words uh, price to let's say to buy this TV would have been back then in 1962 5,200 forints now remember in 1962 um, the Hungarians were still living in a in the communistic era and back then you you couldn't just walk into a shop and buy whatever you wanted to buy you were forced to buy what the state told you you could buy okay and the state had decided that this TV this type of TV was to be sold for 5200 forints I mean 1962 forints um, I'll calculate for you later in the video how much that would be in nowadays money. Okay, well, what do we see here? Well, obviously we see the picture tube here. And yes, as I feared, the the socket for the picture tube is loose so I have to be really careful uh, when I'll unmount the connector to the picture tube yeah so it's its socket is loose uh, it's not dramatic I can repair that uh, what else can we see well um, most resistors are these little green things you see here yeah so I would say small ceramic uh, uh, resistors green ceramic resistors um, they all have the same color so uh, I guess somewhere on on those resistors must be marked a uh, value a resistance value but I can't see it from here um, then you have the usual uh, uh, disk capacitors I think these are so you have this for example Let's see here so this is a disk capacitor I think it could be a, a type of NTC but I'm not sure since I don't have the schematic yet okay what else can we see so we have disk capacitors we have resistors uh, we have 
a, a, a type of electrolytic, which you can see right here. Yeah. So this is most probably an electrolytic. And then you have paper caps like this one right here. Oh, all in all, it's not too unconventional. Um, let's see, inside the chassis right there, you can see the tuner right there. Okay, so that will need some cleaning as well. And then if you look inside the TV from above, you can see some tubes down there. Yeah. So and some electrolytics as well, like here. Canned electrolytics. I think that's what it is. Oh no, it's an IF can. Okay, so you see back here. Uh, where you could put a a how should I say a, a sort of screwdriver to tune the IF can well this is the IF one of the IF cans there's another one here um, there are probably several IF cans inside of this uh, there is an electrolytic down there I don't know if you can see it, but that's an electrolytic over there. And then, uh, well, then you have a few tubes inside. And I, I don't doubt these tubes are Russian made and, and, and or Hungarian, uh, in which case they might be of the Tesla brand. But since everything is so darn dirty, uh, we'll only be able to, to see uh, which is which once I start cleaning it. But as you can tell, it's pretty darn dirty. So I've got my work cut out uh, trying to restore this TV. Also, I have absolutely no clue whether the... the um, CRT is still good. So uh, yeah, this will make for a very interesting uh, project. Okay, so um, anyway, this is one part of my treasures that I brought back. Let me show you the other part. Okay, this TV is much much more recent uh, this is an Orion plus 70 as the type or the brand indicates okay so uh, or I should say an Orion star 70 um, this typical or this model was typically built between 1969 and 1973 if I'm not mistaken mm, the basic model was always the same uh, as one you see here uh, but uh, with slight differences according to the year in which it was produced um, I think this is the 1971 model uh, although I'll need to do a little bit more research now it's a black and white TV and I know most people would say what black and white and oh, why do you have these little colored dots here well heck I don't know uh, I wish I knew why uh, but uh, in any case this is not a color TV at least if I understood the uh, how do you say that the the, the, the typical uh, publicities quote unquote they made for this TV in the 70s um, I think rather this button switches on or off uh, uh, color filtering in the image to improve the quality of the image 
Uh, so this is quite misleading actually. Also, um, it's a tube TV just like the, the K-Cache I just showed you and um, it looks reasonably complete although I'm not sure uh, whether there's a button missing here down here or not so possibly there's a button missing here maybe not I I still need to find out um, it's a it's a square simple model nothing special um, well as you can tell it's, it's just a wooden box and uh, back here you see the exact model of the TV which is an Orion AT5661 and again interestingly so here you see the brand of the TV okay so the typical Orion brand now again just like I showed you on the K-Cache uh, they marked a maximum uh, sales price on the TV right here in fact so it's marked 7400 forints in 1970s money okay so again I'll look it up for you how much that exactly makes or would make in in money of today but that's that was the official sales price of this model of TV remember it was the communistic era and you could only buy uh, stuff at the price the government said uh, it could be sold so the government had arbitrarily decided to put the price of this TV at 7400 forints okay so oh yeah one more detail um, they somebody the the previous owner let's say uh, built in a sort of a light switch into the 220 uh, cord and most probably because the original on off switch is is, is broken yeah so they <laughs> put in a, a light cord switch to switch it on or off anyway uh, let's have a look at the chassis okay so here is a peek inside the TV and uh, well as you can tell it is a black and white uh, CRT which you see here okay and the socket is still a bit loose but it's in better condition than on the K-Cash it's very very dirty a lot of dust and crud and um, the, the let's see this is a high voltage tube and, and its brand is Tungsram PL500 and, and could be the horizontal deflection tube possibly um, I think personally this is a hybrid TV so partially transistorized um, there are some vertical mount parts boards yeah like like this board here and then there's a small tuner which is over there and and I think like I said uh, the TV is probably a hybrid uh, so partly transistor partly tubes aside from all the dirt inside the TV it uh, it still looks uh, original I don't see any repairs to it at least not immediately um, well I, I don't know whether the picture tube works or not but a very interesting detail is what you see over here you see this you see the letters CCCP actually 
that's uh, Cyrillic uh, alphabet letters okay so uh, you would really pronounce it as SSSLR yeah so Sovietsky Socialista Republika or something like that a Republic of the the reunited Soviet Socialists okay so or the USSR like uh, you people uh, would probably say so and that's this is the original communist uh, Russian symbol okay CCCP which is fun um, it's written in let me see it's written in Russian so <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't tell you what the type of the tube is because it's it's completely written in Russian. So I'll have to translate that. Or if anybody feels a calling to translate it for me, well, please do. Um, let's see if I can make a little close up. Okay. So uh, there you go. A Russian picture tube and I would say the size of the picture tube is 20 inch 21 inch something like that okay so yeah well the chassis is far far smaller than the one in the K cache so there's really not too much to tell uh, I I have no clue what uh, the problem is with this TV um, the only thing I can say is that this TV uh, has only one owner okay uh, a Hungarian man who died uh, not too long ago uh, a few years ago and he always kept this TV um, in his house um, so even after it failed he hung on to this TV so this TV only had one owner so I think it was treated uh, nicely um, so if, if if repairs need to be made I think I won't have too much trouble repairing this TV okay well anyway um, well like you can tell it, it has a, a just a square box as cabinet and uh, the cabinet interestingly enough has uh, three burn marks on it so one here a bigger one in the center and then again a small one here uh, I kind of doubt that the uh, owner uh, had candles or whatever on these spots so there are three possibilities either this TV stood somewhere uh, in sunlight and uh, these spots were covered by something and so the rest of the wood was bleached or uh, underneath those spots within the cabinet there's a heat source uh, but frankly I don't see any type of heat source inside the cabinet so uh, my guess is uh, the top of the TV was bleached in sunlight and and the the color the darker spots are the actual color the cabinet had when it was uh, originally produced so this would be the original color very interesting uh, the screen has no protection absolutely none this is bare glass so there's no uh, screen to well there's no protection screen in front of the tube which of course presents a, an explosion hazard um, since I don't know what the quality of this tube uh, is so I will need to be careful 
with this TV. The Kekish on the other hand has a protection screen in front of the picture tube. So um, there's less hazard should it implode. Okay, so well, these are the treasures I brought back from my trip this summer. 